Hello, this time I choose um, an article um, about methodology and and it's about missing data and some researchers inclined to hide missing data but it's quite important to report missing data um, and I think if, if, if um, a study doesn't have missing data or, or some if they do not report their problems it, it can it can be a problem in the future because if their research cannot be repli replicated similarly if they don't find the same result then they cannot accuse something else uh, so that's why I think reporting missing data is quite important uh, so and the way that how the missing data distributed is also very important here we see the impact of missing data on qu quantitative research can be serious leading to biased estimates of parameters loss of information decreased statistical powers power increased standard errors and weakened generalizability of findings because you didn't choose the sample randomly because some patients were not uh, their information not recorded well in this paper they uh, crit they um, discuss the methods one of the method is into imputation method they add uh, they by using SPSS you can you can easily uh, you can easily replace the missing data however uh, it's important which method you will use to replace data and you can use me, me, uh, mean method you can replace with the mean or you can replace with median and uh, and you can also choose to replace with mod value but it is generally preferred if you deal with the categoric data so but here they the, the article describes it in detail this person stated that missing data rate of 15 to 20 percent was common in educational and psychological studies they found that 36 percent of the studies had no missing data 48 percent and and 16 percent cannot be determined so that's why it's important to mention if you have a, a missing data or not in your study um, so principled missing data methods do not replace a missing value directly they combine available information from the observed data with statistical assumption in order to estimate the population parameters so here here it says um, it explains how missing data occur at two levels a unit level non-response occurs when no information is collected from a respondent for example, a respondent may refuse to take a survey or doesn't show up for the survey. While the unit non-response is an important and common problem to tackle, it's not the focus of this paper. This paper is focus of, uh, focuses on the problem of non-response and the item non-response refers to the incollected inform incomplete information collected from the respondent. Uh, the missing data problem at the item level needs to be tackled from three aspects the proportion and the missing data mechanisms and pattern of missing data a researcher must address all three before choosing an appropriate procedure to deal with missing data and each is discussed below so but here they posited that the missing data mechanism and missing data patterns have greater impact on research res results than the uh, then does the proportion of missing data um, so there are the patterns I mentioned and imputation methods were mentioned in this study and you, if you are interested then you can read all articles to get more information and thanks for watching this video I wish you enjoyed and I wish you find it useful and, uh, and have a beautiful day bye bye